Your last chance at Syracuse. What do you think about your last chance at Syracuse? Uh, last chance. Uh, this is another great opportunity for us to um, do something we haven't did in a while. Um, we're pretty excited. Um, we've been having a good practice, so. But this means something, doesn't it? It's not. It's, I mean, I know that they're in the ACC now, but this is a team that has had your number the whole time. Oh uh, yeah, we haven't beat them in I think eleven years now. So obviously, we're going to be out for the game. Uh, it's a big game for us too, because uh, you know they're going to do well um, throughout the season. So, uh, big win is going to be a big win for us if we get it, and we're uh, looking forward to it. Why Syracuse? What what is it about Syracuse that makes them so hard to beat? You look. I'm not just. I'm not talking about like historically. I'm talking about what you've seen about this team. That you're um, they're uh, they're bigger than us, obviously, uh, but I think they're just as big as uh, Minnesota was and Gonzaga was. So we're not going to see anything that we haven't seen already this season. So uh, just got to take care of. Our coach calls it the red zone, and you can take care of that. That's the paint area. You know, we'll be fine if they struggle from outside this year. So. Last season, you guys were close, and Syracuse had. Uh, point guard who was, you know, lottery pick material. And, you know, before that they had Carter Williams. You guys played against them when you were when they had Carter Williams, right? And Waiters. Yes. Yeah. So, what do you, I mean, one of the things that people are wondering about with Syracuse right now is it's a different kind of point guard. Is this a moment, is this like the right moment to be facing them? Off a bunch of new players. They're replacing three or four starters. Well, we don't look at it that way. Um, you know, they're always going to be Syracuse. Uh, you know, they a historic program. Um, you know, and we want to just go in there and get a W. That's all our focus is right now. And you know, that's what we're trying to do. In terms of what happened last season, uh, a lot of key plays at the end of the game, right? Mm -hmm. What I, I know that you guys are very much a like living today kind of thing, but have you spent any time away from the film room ruminating about how that how those last minutes unfolded last year? I watched I I, I watched the Syracuse tape last night from last year, so it was it was honestly stressful because we could we had that game won, but with, you know they had big time players that stepped up and hit big shots, so I don't want to lose to them anymore. <laughs> what else to say? <laughs> uh, so what are you going to do about it? We're going to go there, play hard, and try to get W in the dome. How is it playing there for a visiting team? Well, I've played there before. So I know. That's why, well, yeah. that's why I'm asking. Um, and it's a tough place to play. Uh, they're, they're in a stadium. It's not like a regular basketball facility, so you got to get used to it. Um, get used to, you know, the backdrop that you see behind the goal, stuff like that. So warm-up will be key for us, too. Do you guys think that because you're more of a veteran team, more of a seasoned group, that an environment is going to have less impact on you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, we didn't, I, some of the seniors, we didn't play that Duke before at Kentucky, so some, like, at Syracuse before, so. Nothing's, nothing's gonna like uh, get me too excited or be like, oh my god, like this is a crazy place. Like, we played in the you know, best places to play college basketball. That's true, but at the same time, you guys rely on a couple of people who haven't who haven't experienced that in Chris and Jordan. So, I mean, do you need to say some things that will? help them understand what they're about to go through? Or is it, or do you just expect that they're gonna not have any problem with it? I don't think so. I think the biggest um, uh, opportunity that they had was playing at the Garden. And uh, that was a big deal to everyone. And uh, I just think Syracuse is another gym.
how that would impact the planning. Okay. Let's talk about something a little bit different here. Stewart. Do you think that he's a big part of the game plan this, for this game? I think so. Uh, he, he had a great practice yesterday. He had a lot of shots yesterday. Um, we don't view him as a walk-on at all because uh, he hangs out with us, you know, just like he's on scholarship going with uh, So he, he's he been, he listens to the older group. He hangs around us. He, you know, he tries to pick up things that we do. You know, he's just a, he absorbs everything. You know, he's a great player. So, so he's going to help us this year for this defense show. Yeah, definitely. Um, with playing Syracuse, the way they play the zone, I think it'll open up a lot of opportunities for me and she to penetrate the, the gaps and make plays. How much, uh, how much have you guys gotten to know him in terms of like, you know, his whole story and what he's doing here? Since oh, he first yeah. stepped on campus. Mm -hmm. Since he first stepped on campus, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's with us every single day. Yeah. Like he's at my house. We was watching the uh, last game. He came over and was like, do you have it on TV? I was like, yeah, I record every game. He's like, well, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> so he was with up to 2 or 3 in the morning just watching film. But that's the kind of guy he is. He wants to learn. He wants to be better. He wants to help this team. So. When he told you his story, were you surprised that there were still no Division One scholarship offers for a guy like that? Definitely. Yeah. You think he clearly is smart? Some some. There's I don't know how many college Division One schools there are. Somebody should have offered him. It's kind of a, I know teams that maybe were thinking about it, saw him play against Gonzaga and just last game now, providing on a you know, big time program as a walk on. You could have had him on scholarship, so you know. Glad glad I'm out of here. <laughs> glad he came here. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty surprised because I mean he went to a powerhouse high school and he played with a, uh, a really good AAU program, so Um, what else should we talk about? Um, <coughs> what else is, what else is, what else is happening? What else is interesting that you guys are doing? Am I, are we going to see anything new from your, from your group in this game? Better defense. Better defense. Yeah, that's key. You guys spend a lot of time working on defense, though. Yeah. 75% yeah. <laughs> of the practice yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> is, there, uh, is there a particular aspect of the defense that you guys have been spending time focusing on? Um, I think more like not on the ball. Because our on the ball defense is terrific. It's off the ball. And yeah, and locating shooters. Yeah, shooters. And not getting not getting to the get, three point shoot. Yeah. And not letting uh, a team start up hot. Once they start fighting and get a confidence, that's when we gotta come back and do yeah. the Batman thing and the heroic stuff. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> that's good. Uh, you know, they have some size and. Uh, hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, coach. They have some size and, and big guys. You know, two of them. I mean, obviously they have a freshman and he's thin and probably, you know, gets moved around. But Christmas, he's pretty filled out and heavy. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything in Chris in the last few days of, of practice that indicates to you that he's savoring the chance to go at these two guys? Uh, yeah, definitely. He's keep um, asking coaches about questions on how to play on it. What are their tendencies and stuff? So I think he's pretty in tune and ready to go. This is a this is a different thing that you're seeing in him this time. Yeah, it's definitely since yeah. emergency. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. definitely since emergency, Chris. Um, I know he, he wants to play better than what he has, and you know you see it in him. Maybe, you know, the last few days, he's like has a fire in his eyes. 